for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you complete detailing of g plus 7 building structure which is related to the commercial structure by using stat pro v8i software so i will show you the beam reinforcement details and column reinforcement details for the different floors and i will show you the foundation design results for the g plus 7 building structure okay so initially i will show you the model which is related to the stat pro model so click on the stat pro software this is my building model so i was already done the modeling process and i was apply the load cases which is related to the gravity loading condition system as well as lateral loading condition system so initially i will show you this respected model in 3d rendering view so click on the 3d rendering view option here like this okay so it will load the 3d rendering view for the building structure so this is the 3d rendering view for the building structure this is the commercial structure which is consisting of the passageway here like this and which is consisting of the shutter 1 shutter 2 shop 3 shop 4 and shop 5 6 7 8 9 okay like this okay this respected space is generally useful for the staircases and this respected space is generally useful for the uh, lift provision okay so in this video i will cover you how to design the structure by using uh, IS456-2000 code okay so go to geometry option so initially I will show you the properties for this so for this suspected building I was consider the column size which is consisting of 0 0.6 cross 0 0.6 and beam size which is consisting of approximately 0 0.3 cross 0 0.5 and I was taken the secondary beams which is related to the staircases beams here like this which is consisting of approximately the dimensions is 0 0.3 cross 0 0.4 and I was taken the plate thickness approximately equal to 150 mm okay so after that we have to show the uh, load cases definitions so here i was taken the definitions as per the seismic loading point of view as well as the wind loading point of view and the load combination which is related to this respected is456 code okay so after uh, analysis process is completed we need to design this structure okay so for that go to design option here okay so it will be consisting of steel design concrete design timber design aluminium shear wall design here like this so firstly i am selecting the concrete design here okay so initially we need to select the current code option so we are already decided that we need to do the uh, designing process as per the is 456 2000 code okay that's why i am selecting here as is 456 2000 code here so firstly it will be consisting of three types of the options here on the right hand side section which is related to the select parameters define parameters and commands so select parameters is nothing but whatever the input that we are trying to give the for this respected building we need to initially select those parameters so after that we have to input the values here and we have to uh, define the commands which is comes under the design section of the beams columns slabs okay so firstly i am selecting select beams option so it will be consisting of the selected parameters here like this but we doesn't have any kind of the values which is related to the all the selected parameters okay that's why firstly we have to deselect this respected values here again from these values we have to select the compressive strength value again we have to select the yield strength and yield strength of the shear reinforcement maximum main reinforcement section maximum secondary reinforcement section again we if you available with md1 md1 you can select so md2 also select so click on ok option so now we have to define the values which is selected for this respected building structure so go to define parameters so firstly we have to enter the value of the compressive strength here so as per the my consideration just i am taking the compressive strength will be consisting of 30,000 m30 grade concrete click on add button again i am selecting yield strength here so here i am taking basic strength which is related to the 415300 click on add button here again in the same process just i am selecting the shear section which is also consisting of 415 grade just i am taking 415300 section click on add button Again, I am selecting maximum main option to 20 mm diameter, click on add, maximum secondary, 16 mm diameter, click on add, MD1, just I am selecting here as 16 mm diameter, MD2, again I am selecting here as 16 mm diameter, click on add, close. So after that, we have to select the commands option, just I am selecting the commands here, it will be consisting of design column, design beam and slab element command, takeoff command. So we have to add the all these commands, so click on add beam command, click on add, add column command, click on add. Again, I am selecting design column uh, slab element command, click on add option, take off command, click on add option, close option. So now we have to select this respected question marks as per the inputted values. So select the FCK value. So we need to apply all the building by using assign to view option. Again, I am selecting FI main, assign to view, assign yes. Section reinforcement also assign to view option, assign yes option. Maximum main here, click on assign to view, assign yes option. Maximum secondary, click on assign to view, assign yes option. So MD1, just I am selecting assign to view option, assign yes option, select MD2, assign to view option, assign option, yes, yes, yes option, 
select the beams command option so initially we need to select the beams parallel to x direction condition again i'm selecting beams parallel to z direction condition click on assign to selected beams option assign yes select the design column in the same process we have to select the beams parallel to y direction condition click on assign to selected beams option assign option yes option select design element by using assign to view option assign option yes option go to analysis and print option add your no print close option go to analyze option click on run analysis option save option so now here we have to check for the zero errors as per the design considerations by using is 456 2000 code so now we can see here my model is checking for the zero errors as per the inputted data for the g plus 7 building structure now we can see here my building model is obtained with zero errors go to post to processing mode option click on done option so apply your load cases click on okay so now we have to go to select any one of the beam so initially i am deselecting this deflection diagram just i am selecting the bottom beam double click on it click on concrete design so now we can see it will be consisting of the 22 number of the bars at the top and it will be consisting of five number of the bars at the bottom okay so again for this respective section just i am showing the secondary beam reinforcement section double click on it click on concrete design so this is the reinforcement diagram which is included 13 bars of 16 mm diameter at the top and 10 bars of 12 mm diameter at the bottom okay so again i will show you the reinforcement detail for this respected section click on the concrete design so it will be consisting of 12 number of the 20 mm diameter bar at the top and 17 number of the bars of 12 mm diameter at the bottom again in the same process we have to see the uh, output file which is related to the column section designs so select any one of the column click on the concrete design so now we can see it is consisting of approximately uh, 28 numbers of the 20 mm diameter bar which is consisting of 2.44 percentage of the steel in column section for the ground story again in the same process we have to show the reinforcement detail for the remaining section double click on it click on the concrete design so now we can see it will be consisting of approximately 12 bars of 12 mm diameter at this respected section so why because the loading condition distribution is district decreasing in the top story sections that's why the reinforcement values is obtained as low values okay so again in the same process we have to see the output file click on the stand output file option click on the results option so click on the concrete design section so it will be consisting of all individual calculations which is related to the beam sections column sections as well as the slab reinforcement section so the slab reinforcement section will be directly seen as the uh, area section okay which is consisting of approximately the tape uh, top section as well as the bottom section which is of longitudinal and transverse reinforcement which is of 156 mm square okay so again after this we need to design the uh, foundation so for that go to select the foundation design option select the load cases which is primary load cases for the building structure just i'm selecting the seismic load wind load so click on include option click on run stand foundation option so the fixed supports for this respected building are directly imported to stat foundation software in the stat foundation software we can easily uh, design the output file which is related to the isolated footing or combined footing as per my example just i was considered as isolated footing only okay so now we can see it was uh, imported the fixed support conditions here like this so firstly we have to select the loads and factors so click on the create uh, combinations option okay generate load combinations option select the indian standard system click on generate load combination for the service load combination initially so after that we have to create the load combination for the ultimate load combination so here i am selecting generate load combination for the ultimate load combination it was generated here so after that we have to gen uh, define the job setup select the job setup create job option give the job name just i am giving here as if isolated footing as per the indian standard system and uh, english not si system so we have to select the load combination which is generated here which is related to uh, 101 102 201 202 203 204 here okay so click on the create job so that the isolated footing information is generated on the left hand side here like this which is related to the uh, concrete and rebar value cover soil type footing geometry sliding and overturning click on design option you can directly click on ok option if you know the values of the soil bearing capacity you can change on the left hand side with the help of the uh, concrete and rebar value section okay so here now we can see it was designing the respected building structure, uh, structure uh, foundation design as per the is 456 2000 code for the isolated section So now we can see here it was isolated footing design was designed here as per the IS 456 2000. Select any one of the footing, just I am selecting isolated footing 6. So it will be consisting of each and individual calculation part as per the IS codal provision section. Okay. So click on the starting page. This is a starting page. This is a geometry and this is a detail line drawing for the respected section, which is consisting of the reinforcement diagram here like this. Okay. So under the considerations of the reinforcement section, this is a GA drawing and this is the calculation sheet. Okay. 
So this is the complete process analysis and designing of commercial building of G plus 7 by using StatPro V8i software. If you have any queries about this respected video, please try to text me your respected questions in the below comment box. I will try to give the answer for that respected questions. Thank you.